Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at mic making and making some Z Tangle doodles. So in my Dina Wakely journal I'm just drawing out a shape of a flower with a black pencil, just really really lightly, and I'm using a Stabilo Ore pencil so if I make a mistake I can use some water to get rid of the lines. And this is just a bit of an outline of where I'm going to put my paint. Now I want to have a very bright background so that I can then doodle over the top with black. So I'm just filling in the edges with a permanent black marker. Any sort will work and the fresher the better, you get a nice thick line. Uh, this is again just to give me a sort of an outline of where I want to paint. And when I'm finished the whole piece, I'm going to go back over it again so you get that really crisp black line. So putting in the colours, so I start off with lemon and then I've got tangerine and I've just got my use it up journal next to me just to clean up my brush and any excess paint that I've got on my brush I can just daub into the journal and use next time. So that one is fuchsia and uh, blackberry violet. And then I'm going to have Osh, no, 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 uh, Ruby, Cheddar. Then I think I used some Jane Davenport paints. These ones are all Dina Wakely heavy body paints, acrylics. Um, you can use any acrylics that you want, just something nice and bright. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's one of the Jane Davenport's from the Light Portrait set. And the other two colours are from her Jane's Favourite set. I don't think they've actually got a proper colour name. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm, yeah, I've, I've never actually noticed if it's got a name on it. So there's me getting bored and wanting some music on the background. <laughs> so Z-Tangling, if you've never come across it before, is just a form of doodling basically and if you look up on the internet you can get pages and pages and pages of excellent examples of different patterns that you can use. I've in the last few years become really interested in sort of doing Z tangles and uh, doodling, doing mandalas and just creating a bank of doodles that are sort of go-to marks that you can use in your work in any way, shape or form. Now I have to admit though this piece is actually directly inspired, my mum's a quilter and she does free motion quilting and this was a sample piece, a pattern that she had sitting on her desk um, from one of the classes that she's been doing and it's for um, quilting so obviously to get your uh, sewing machine around but I just looked at it and thought, oh, that's a great way to practice and a great shape to practice doing your Z-Tangles on. So you just notice I got a little bit of the black um, oil, Stabilo oil pencil there. So just with a bit of wet wipe, I could wipe it off and just put a little bit of paint back over the top. So I'm just drying off the surface so it's, it's nice and dry for my um, pen to go over. You can see I'm just refixing the lines so I've got those solid black lines it's covering over any paint that I've gone over it also because it is permanent marker has that shine to it and you'll notice the food ball when it goes on has quite a shine to it as well so this is my background very very simple and now all I'm doing is just going in and doing lots and lots of different patterns in each of those different sections so this pattern is lots of circles and just varying the sizes of them, so a large one, small one, sort of a few small ones next to each other and a large one, you get sort of this pebbly pattern. Next one is just straight lines and then putting the lines horizontally, zigzag, lines going vertically and then lines going horizontally, I think I'll go back and put the horizontal lines in later, making some squares up, putting squares in the squares, so it's just filling in that negative space with lots of different patterns. And again, if you get stuck, go and have a look on the internet. There's lots and lots of pictures of patterns that you can copy and practice. But some of them are as simple as just drawing lines, like this one. Just drawing um, a series of four lines in just different angles and different directions. And you get sort of this almost um, hay pattern, uh, straw pattern type thing happening. 
loops are also a really great way of filling in the patterns and I know James Luke Burke Creative on YouTube if you look him up has got an excellent uh, little tutorial on how to do a really lovely sort of mermaidy loop pattern and all the different ways that you can use it but yeah just just have fun and if there's any school, primary school teachers out there in particular these are fantastic um, activities to do with your class I know my kids used to love it when we um, did these sort of pattern work experimentation um, in our classroom because they always got something that looked really really good and the great thing about doing pattern work is and this pattern that I'm doing at the moment is a good example of this even if it's not perfect and it doesn't quite work when you've got it on mass like that you cannot see the difference same with this pattern that I'm doing here when I get down to the end the pattern doesn't quite finish itself off properly but because you've got that overall example and you've got the pattern mostly complete your eye kind of plays a trick on you and finishes it off properly for you so it doesn't really matter that it's not 100% perfect now the only other thing that you can see that I'm using is a ruler which comes in really really handy and I've got a piece of plastic there or a piece of paper just to lean on uh, because the food ball, while it's an amazing pen, it does take a little while to dry, particularly over the acrylic. It does dry permanently and it doesn't transfer, but when it's still a little bit damp, um, you, you can transfer it onto your hand and therefore transfer it onto other places in your page. And <clears throat> while I was working, I got a beautiful tattoo on my arm of one of the patterns that I did. So um, having the plastic there or a piece of working paper is really really handy while you're doing this so this is in in the last week or so I've been doing lots and lots of pattern work and mark making in lots of different ways this probably is one of the more simple versions just really bright paint colors in the background and just going nuts with a pen um, another video that I'll be putting up shortly is using paint markers over vintage photos and doing lots of patterns in the background to incorporate the picture into the background and then just doing a mixed media piece using lots and lots of different um, media on it so making marks but with different media as well um, like chalk pastels, oil pastels, watercolour pencils, pens, paint pens, acrylic paints watercolour just by mixing the media so keeping the marks the same but mixing how you're making them so there's lots and lots of different ways to incorporate this into your, your artwork to make it funky but I just really like the simplicity of this and how eye-catching it is with the bold colours in the background and the patterns over the top so doing this final leaf pattern and then up in the corner, I was kind of running out of what I wanted to do, so just doing a really simple uh, zigzag pattern and filling it in. Then in the one down the bottom, I thought, oh, I need a little bit more to that, so just putting vertical lines in. So just adding a little bit to your doodling, a few vertical lines, a few dots, can help fill in those spaces and make it look complete. So when I finished I'm just going back over all the black lines with a white sharpie paint pen I found the white sharpie paint pens are amazing and very opaque the other ones I have success with are the Posca paint pen the white Posca paint pen and the um, if you want a small white pen the um, Signo Uni ball point pen is quite good for white but this is the final piece up close and you can see all the lines aren't perfect the patterns may not quite be right or the widths quite be right but from a distance you get the overall effect so I hope you have a go at this thanks for watching and see you next time